today we're heading up to Flagstaff and going to Overland Expo West. We've never been. No. We're, we literally have no idea what to expect. We're going we in blind. We could have taken the van, but still. Yeah, we're not in our van. Our original plan was to take the van and stay the weekend. And have a great time. But, but now we just can drive up for the day. We're just driving up. The van, if you watched our episode from last week, you would have seen that our van batteries are not working right now. We currently have no house batteries that are able to stay charged. Is that what we would say? Correct. Correct. So they will not charge. They will not charge. You guys have sent us so many good ideas though. We're currently trying a lot of those, but as of now, we still have no battery. Okay, like we were saying, we're not gonna cry. We're gonna we're not gonna say our van's a lemon, even though we've officially named it Mr. Lemon. It's a lemon. We're not gonna cry about this. We're just gonna make lemonade and head up to Flagstaff and still do what we plan to do. It's just gonna look a little different. remembered that they didn't have any parking available when I purchased these tickets this morning. <laughs> that was a little last minute at purchasing them um, because there were so many options to purchase. You could do a Friday, a Saturday, a Sunday, the whole thing if you're gonna uh, camp there. There's just a lot of options and obviously we didn't know what was going on with our van for a while so you know. Today was the day where it was like, all right, we know what we're doing. We're just driving up for the day. Has anybody ever been to the expo? Is it the expo? No, Overland Expo. I know they have a East Coast one, a West Coast one. Is there like a... Just those two. Just those two? Okay. Uh, I'd love to know. Has anybody ever been to one of these? There's going to be over 400 vendors. Wow. Did you know that? I did not know that that's how many were there. I knew that there would be quite a few, but... yeah. It says over 400. Wow. I think vendors, I think that's what they called them. A bunch of classes and so much more. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I originally heard about the Overland Expo many years ago when we had our Jeep. And so that's where I learned about it and I always wanted to go, but we never, we never made it there. We never had a, an opportunity or whatever. So now that we're boondocking a lot, I just think it'd be a great opportunity to go there and kind of see what the Overland folks are doing, all the stuff that they have, and maybe we can, you know, find some new toys and make boond our boondocking experience just a little better. All right, well, we'll see you at NAU because that is where we're supposed to park to get on a shuttle to go to the event. was a complete bust. We drove to NIU to hop on the shuttle the way they told us we have to, and we got there and the line was literally a half a mile long. There was nowhere to park there that we could find. And so we came back and we parked on the side of the road about a mile from the event. So we're just gonna walk. Let's go. Gosh, do you guys see that van right behind here? us? <laughs> That's crazy. That's awesome. They didn't get a pop top van. They added a pop top tent to their van. Pretty, pretty sweet. Oh That's a great gosh. idea. Look I love it. that. Already inspired. Lots of great ideas. We've walked about a mile. Yeah. We're almost at the entrance. My watch is asking me if I'm doing a workout. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. 
but oh my, the, the amount of vans I've already seen here, it's so cool. Crazy. It'd be super cool to just like pull up and park and spend like the whole weekend here and you don't have to move. You can just come back and eat, nap, use the bathroom, whatever. But our van's broken. And Sad I don't, day. And I don't see any hookups. No. So maybe there is some else, some other places. I don't know. But oh well. But we're here now and we're gonna enjoy it. That thing is amazing. I think we need to trade in our van for this. I think so. Are you in? I'm in, let's do it. Let's go see how much it is. Or if you can even buy it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we couldn't get in the Global X vehicle, the Global Exp Expedition vehicle, not sure what that is. It rained last night and they said they there's water in it, so they're gonna have to let it dry out. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna come back and try and get in, get in it later. Yeah, maybe a little later. Yeah. There's a little rope here. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the Adventure XT. I've never heard of one of these, have you? Nope. I've never heard of it, but we can't go past this. But look at, look at, oh my gosh. Seating, table, bed. This, it smells brand new. This and is then awesome. We got the microwave. Fridge? Yep. Fridge. So cool. Um, oh, it's super cheap. Oh. Four ninety-five. Wow, only half Adventure a million dollars. Ready at a half a million dollars. Wow. We'll take two. Let's do it. Oh, and look at there's a cool bathroom. Oh, cool. No. That's just the beginning. We just got here, and that's like the first thing that we see. Yep. Are you like a kid in the candy shop? I am. This is pretty sweet. <laughs> Okay, is this custom built? Definitely. Oh my gosh, there's a dog in there? I thought it was fake. <laughs> so cute. It's getting a little dark. Hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> Wasn't really prepared to get wet today. We're hungry. Oh. We're going to what is called. Uh, we're, the hangry. Food. we're hangry. We're hangry. We're hangry. Bob's hangry. We're going to a food court. Oh my gosh. Wow. What in the. I got barbecue sauce. They're opening a new thing of ketchup. Okay, are those really the fries? Those are the fries. Wow. Okay, are you done being hangry? No, because I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> Are you done being hangry? I am done being hangry. Okay. Was it good? It was acceptable. <laughs> it, was it wasn't yeah, it wasn't amazing. For fifty dollars. For fifty dollars, but I mean at least I feel full. Yeah. Okay. We're not gonna complain. No. Not we're, complaining. we're excited, we got food, we got in, it's eaten. Now we can go enjoy the rest of the show. The expo. The expo. The expo. But I bet you anything, Bob wants a beer first. Maybe. Or a cookie. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
Two minutes later, we found the cookie place. And it's only $14 for a cup of cookies. Worth it? It's gonna be worth it. Or at least they look worth it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll tell you how they taste here in a second. Mmm, so good. Is it worth nice it? and crunchy. Absolutely. Mmm. of space. It's so cute. It's got a cool little sidecar. I could ride the motorcycle and you could ride with. Oh, how good is that? Looks like an outdoor shower. And probably a bathroom. Maybe a bathroom, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, there's the shower. Mm -hmm. assume you can use this to start a fire where it's like putty and it's windproof so once it lights on fire your whole fire it will stay lit and then your fire will continue pretty cool put it in the van let's do it oh So if you like uh, just what I need for the van, <laughs> our own little keg reader. As a what? Glass bar. That's cool. I definitely think we should get a pair of these. What are those for? So this is like traction pads so that when you go through like sand or something like that and you sink down in, you can put this in and then you won't like sink down in. Ooh. And what's nice is because there's no holes or whatever, like the mud and sand can't come through it. So this is for sure like must. the must have version. Cool. So this is the Illuminus display. We've got them on the back of our van. We really, really enjoy their products. And we have the uh, tire rack or tire carrier with the ladder. And then we also have the box on the passenger side. And so we're just looking for a few little upgrades. <laughs> what? Do we need this? I mean... They don't make everything for ours though. No. A lot of this is made for Sprinter. Yeah, we would have to get like a plate, which we don't have. Although we could get the little like this little rail system on the front of our uh, box and then we could add some things but here we go this is what you need small oh, there you go add that to the front all right we're fans yes we are very much fans So this is where all of the creators are. They've got lots of YouTube channels and stuff. And right here is Drive the Globe. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos. Uh, I think Mathers on the map met them. And that's where I saw them the first Mathers? time. They shot a video with them. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. I think they took a tour and showed them the whole thing. It was actually a cool video. I've never seen it in person, but if we were to build a van, this is the hot water heater I would put in. What about the fridge? The fridge is huge. If we could squeeze it in, I would definitely put this one in, but it's just so big and it's pretty expensive. That makes me happy. <laughs> they actually have some really high quality stuff. I've looked, done a ton of research online and it's a great brand. All right, we get to go in this. This is an Earth Roamer. It's a 2023. It's a 
SX, whatever that means. We'll figure it out. But we get to go in this. How cool is that? Let's go. Sell the van and get one. Um, we're gonna have to start a GoFundMe now. It's really expensive, but really great quality. So, this is the same vehicle that Karen and Nate like toured and drove all over. It's just kind of cool to be here after they were already here and shot a video. coating is pretty cool. I'm curious how they get it across the entire body. I mean, it's nice and even. It's thick. And, and like just the details of how they put it on and where they didn't put it, pretty nice. So it has a vacuum infused carbon fiber body. Like seriously? Pretty impressive. So this is a Chevy 6500 four x four chassis. It has an astonishing 18,000 watt hours of lithium batteries. It has a hundred gallon diesel fuel tank. And I overheard them saying that it gets about 10 to 12 miles per gallon. So that's a huge range. And get this, it has four captain chairs, but it also has two king beds in there. Two? Two, it's impressive. I think there's one up top and then I'm assuming in the back. It turns into the a The table turns into one. Okay. Cool, you can bring uh, us and two of our best friends. Surprisingly inside, it has a seven foot three sailing height. So don't have to worry about hitting your head. It has a max speed of 81 miles per hour. That is pretty impressive for a vehicle this big. Washer and dryer, optional. I would pick the washer and dryer 100%. I don't know about you, Bob, but I'm ready for something to drink. I saw a prickly pear drink. That looked good. Where did you go find that? Where was that at? I think it was at the food court. I think it was over by those bathrooms that are right there. All right. We're on the hunt for something fun to drink. Fun. Fun. Not good for you. Fun. Thank you. It's only okay. I was really expecting something way better. It tastes like watered down nothing. <laughs> but I'll drink it. <laughs> Oil lemonade. Actually not too bad. Is it better than mine? It actually has more flavor than yours, for sure. All right, let me try it. <laughs> no, not for me. <laughs> I'll stick with my watered down prickly pear. <laughs> Fun fact, I was in the Air Force, so we stopped by the museum here at the, uh, I guess this used to be a military base. Did you ever wear a dress blues? Oh yeah. For, I don't remember what for, but I have, I still have this. Yeah. Bob served in the Air Force for four and a half years when we first got married. Yeah. That's we how we used to live at Travis Air Force Base, California, and he's went to Pakistan. Yeah, a bunch of different places. No place fun. No, no place cool. No place fun. But yeah, a little veteran on our hands. Wow. Now that is a genius. Yeah. So Bob went over to Battleborn and he's like, uh, can you 
Yeah. Send us a few batteries. We need a couple. Oh, just two. Just two batteries. That's it. I could take the two that are sitting on the counter right there. Yeah. Like, they have plenty to spare, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Battleborn, if you're watching this, we'll take some batteries. <laughs> we need some batteries. Yeah. It's a live auction. $200,000 is the current bid if anybody wants it. If it's still available. If it's still available by the yeah. time this by video, the time you see it. By the time you see by the time you see this video. Hey. I've never been in one of these before and I've always wanted to. It's kind of, it's actually extremely cool. I would love to climb up here and sleep. Like. So I asked him out front, uh, what's the gas mileage on something like this? And they actually said that pulling a trailer getting here, they got eight miles per gallon. So not bad, not great, but I would assume with no trailer, maybe 10, 12, which is kind of close to our van. Yeah, I mean, so, well. No. Our van is 15 to 18. Yeah. So. It's close, but it's not terrible. You know, it's not getting four miles per gallon or something crazy. Right. But Would you do it? It's an awfully big vehicle, but that, you could get to some really cool places. That's true. I guess we couldn't park it. But we parking would be hard, so I guess I'm out. That was short lived. I wonder if you could put something like this on the van. <laughs> crazy. Super cool, what but is it, this would be a shock for like the back of the van. We've talked about upgrading those, but this is a little overkill. It's something that's going to go on like the Earth Rover. <laughs> what do you think? Do I need one of these? She bought the hat. <laughs> I think I need it. This kind of day? What do you guys think? I think it's me. This thing is huge. It's like a full size, like, it looks actually like a military truck that they have converted. I mean, ground clearance is what? 36 inches, something crazy? Huge. The real question is how much is this? I'm gonna guess a million. Are you gonna guess a million? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, guess say, a million. I'm gonna say 1.5 million. Really? Wow. It looks pretty fancy. I mean, that one was half a million. Oh, that was half a million. How much is the and Earth Roamer? One million. And the Earth Roamer is like a million or maybe is it 750? I don't remember. Um, but this one? <laughs> okay, so you're gonna, million. okay, maybe I'm too much. Maybe I'm going too high. We'll see. We'll Hopefully see. Hopefully we can see the price. Oh, this specs a deal. Oh my word. <gasps> wow. Are you gonna come by yourself? I'm gonna come in by myself because it's a, it's a tight fit. Okay, we found out I won. This thing is $2.1 million and it's for sale. Link in the description. Oh, wow. Wow. There's the little stairs to go up. Your bed in the back. Pretty cool. 2.1 million. Who was right? Who was closer? You were closer. I was closer. I wasn't right, but I was closer. Yeah, still off by like a million. Yeah. Link in the description down below if you want to buy it for yourself. <laughs> and if you do, let us know. Yeah, and if it's for, because of us, we definitely need a commission. <laughs> well, it was much larger than I expected. We actually met some really cool people there had you know some conversations with some great vendors like Illuminus and what was the, the last one we just did forget the generator no people. generator guy generator guy generator guy we just hit was he was, his, was his name was Jason but I yeah remember the company name they sell it at Costco put a regular, right I, I forgot yeah 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 but 
good news. What? He said go. Yes, he, he did say go online and fill out the affiliate stuff. So maybe we'll get a little code for you guys. He said we per, potentially 30% off. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let me get that. All right. So that was kind of cool. Down in the comments, guys, tell us what was your favorite thing that we showed. And what was your favorite? <sighs> all, all keep I hear me is, safe. Keep me safe. I just hear bikes coming up from behind me. Yeah. So. What was your favorite? Mo me? Yeah. If money wasn't. Oh. If money wasn't an issue. Uh, the Earth Roamer. I have to probably go with the Earth Roamer. Yeah, me too. So, there, there was actually I forget the name of the, the one that was just gigantic. That's actually a little too big. I mean, three axle vehicle, Earth Roamer. Plenty big, super high end quality. Just a really, really nice machine. And if money was no object, and of course, you know, we didn't have any restrictions with driveway or anything like that, I'd have to pick one of those. So Earth Roamer. Earth Roamer for the win. Okay, and if money wasn't an object, I'm going for the 2.5, 2.1 million dollar, whatever that was. Do you remember what it was called? Global Expeditions, maybe? I think that's what it was called. I don't know. But if money wasn't an issue, I'm going for that 2.1 million dollar humongous amazingness. That's my pick. Let us know what's your guys's. Let us know in the comments. That's all we have for today. We'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye. Maybe we need a motorcycle. <laughs>